Hi, and welcome to this tutorial, where we are going to explain how to use dynamic tokens in Mystica VR. This smart functionality enables the use of metadata tags in the name convention. You're able to select among several different tokens, such as resolution, color space, or frame rate, and they'll be a part of the destination path or render name. These tokens can be added by using square brackets. When you create the first bracket, a drop-down menu with all the possible tokens will appear. Now simply write or select the one you want, and the bracket will close automatically. When you start typing your chosen token in the name convention, the search engine will automatically recognize and filter out the most relevant tags. For example, if you write bracket R, the drop-down menu will show range, render name, resolution X, and resolution Y. Let's have a look at the practical example. First we'll open the export options window, located in file render. You'll find the tokens in the destination section. We are going to create a new folder with the name of the extension that we want to render, in this case prorace. Then we write bracket E and select the EXT token. Now navigate to the name section to generate the name of the file we are going to export. Let's name the file test, and now we can add to that name all the tokens we want. In this case, I want the name to include the environment name, X and Y resolution, and frames per second of the parameters that were set for the output. A 4K resolution at 24 frames per second. And this is the result. We have generated a file with the name of the extension, in this case the ProRace movie with the name composed of the chosen dynamic tokens. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, or follow us on social media if you want to keep up with the latest news on Mystica technology. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next video.